Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about romance books that have alpha heroes in them. So I normally don't gravitate towards romances with alpha heroes in them because I honestly prefer a sweeter, kinder, gentler hero, but there are the exceptions for me for the attractive alpha hero type. I'm not for the alpha hero guys who are mean and rude and very controlling, so these are the alpha heroes that have their sweet moments and sweet sides to them. First, of course, is the staple alpha hero for me, Beautiful Bastard by Christina Lauren. Bennett Ryan in here, I think was the start to my love for it. <laughs> I know that some people aren't a fan of this series, but I am. They're entertaining, they're fun, they're hot. So Bennett Ryan in here is sworn enemies with his personal assistant, Chloe. The two of them yell and bicker each other all the time, but they have to work together. Finally, the dam breaks between them because underneath all that hate that they have, because it is hate, it is enemies to lovers, hate to love, beneath all the hate is a whole lot of lust. And so there's some fun times going on in the office and other places. He takes the more dominant role for sure that um <laughs> that can be entertaining to read about at times. Um, but he's definitely an alpha hero. He likes what he likes and he wants what he wants. And he wants Chloe throughout the book. He figures this out, obviously. And he'll do anything to have her. He'll do anything at all to get her, to have her, to make her be his. I would say this whole series in general has a lot of alpha heroes in them. So Christina Lauren's Beautiful Bastard series is definitely one you should pick up. Next, I have Alex from Pucked by Helena Hunting. This is a hockey romance series. Our heroine in here, Violet, she has a stepbrother who is on this very famous hockey team. And she ends up going out with him one night to have drinks with his teammates. And there she meets Alex, who's her stepbrother's teammate. And um, the two of them have a one night wham bam thank you ma'am kind of deal. <laughs> that is really good. <laughs> and um, the two of them can't really stop thinking about each other after the fact. So it turns into something more. This book is hilarious and fun. And I loved the hockey aspects in here. I think this was like the first hockey romance I read and it kind of like inspired my love for hockey romances, even though I don't watch hockey whatsoever. <laughs> Alex in here is the captain of a hockey team, so he can be very alpha at times, especially when it comes to men being attracted to Violet other than himself. <laughs> and when he realizes he wants more from Violet than just one night, he will do everything and anything to convince her <laughs> that she wants more too. Next is Duchess by Day, Mistress by Night by Stacey Reed. This is a historical romance. Our heroine here, Georgiana, she is a widow and a single mother, and she has an experienced passion in quite a long time in her life. And so she ends up coming across Reese, who is of lower social rank than her during this time period, um, but he's very well known in society as the broker. He makes a lot of deals with a lot of people and he demands to have payment. So he's very stern and set in his ways about that. And when he meets Georgiana, he immediately wants her, immediately wants her, even though he knows it probably can't happen because of the social class difference between the two. But then something happens to our heroine's son to where Reese has to help her find him. And the two of them are forced to be together even more. This one was really good. <laughs> um, Reese in here was good. <laughs> He's good. He's very good. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. Next, I have Her Sweet Alpha by Thayer King. So Alpha in the title here. And he is on the sweeter side of an alpha hero for sure. Um, this is a paranormal romance. Our hero in here is a werewolf shifter. So basically it's set on Earth, but pretend that werewolf shifters exist and they just had been like announced to the human public. So humans are a little bit nervous around werewolves just because they just got announced to existing, you know? And our heroine here is a human woman who works at this diner and our hero comes to this diner for a bite to eat with some of his friends and he can immediately send his mate and he finds out that it is this waitress and he immediately like grabs her, smells her, sniffs her. And she's freaking out that this guy is holding her, this giant of a man. He's huge, like he's a giant muscular man. She's like, what is he doing? I am scared. And he has to try to convince her that werewolves are not this scary thing to be afraid of. Like there's something beautiful in it and um, that 
he just wants her as his mate like he's waited for years like he's getting older and um he's the alpha of his pack and he wants his mate so badly and he is so grateful when he finds her but he has to convince her to be his so he's very sweet and loving but he can be alpha completely at times like this is definitely a if you touch her you die vibes um because there is someone that may or may not try to hurt his mate and he goes full beast mode essentially so yes this is an alpha hero but he's also very sweet and i really recommend this one this one's really under hyped this is a great paranormal werewolf romance next up another workplace office romance i feel like alpha heroes are in a lot of workplace romances for some reason um we have man in charge by laura Limpage. this is actually a duet uh book one ends on a cliffhanger book two is already out so you can go in immediately to book two. The heroine of this book goes to this party. At the beginning, her friend is ill and she can't go with her, but she still wants to go have a good time. Like her friend says, go have a good time, go to this party. And so she goes to the party, she goes to the roof to like get some air, call her friend, ask her friend is doing. And um, somebody else comes on the roof with another person and the heroine ends up watching everything happen between the two of them. And she gets very interested to say the least. One of the people leave and there's a guy still up there and he spots our heroine watching. And he's like, you want a piece now? And so something might happen between the two of them on this roof um, <laughs> and it's very hot and they just go their separate ways when they're done essentially. And then she goes to work the next day. She works for this company that basically connects big businesses to charities to support the charities. The guy that she's working for in this big business scenario is 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 the guy that she was on the roof with <laughs> they end up having a forbidden office place romance um so this is really hot really fun again we have another hero who wants what he wants he's not afraid to get it so very 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 alpha of him next i have um a touch of darkness by scarlet st Clair. this is a hades and persephone retelling and that's all i really want to tell you i don't really know how to describe this book other than it is a hades and persephone retelling and if you know anything about hades and persephone like their story, Hades is very alpha at times and definitely gets what he wants all the time. And what he wants in this scenario is Persephone for sure. Another book that gives me a lot of Hades and Persephone vibes is Sworn to the Shadow God by Ruby Dixon. This is one of her fantasy romance books. In this series, human women from Earth have been sucked through a portal into a fantasy land. And in this fantasy land, there are these gods. There's the father of all the gods, think like Zeus, kind of like Zeus. And his children, his godchildren have kind of pissed him off. So he's cast them down to the mortal realm of this fantasy land and in order to live on the mortal plane they have to have a mortal anchoring them to it and so the heroine in this book ends up becoming the mortal anchor to the god of death um and so they have to follow each other everywhere or if they separate for long like if they're away from each other physically like they like the heroine gets in a lot of pain um she like eats for him sleeps for him does all this stuff so he's the god of death and so that's why it gives me a lot of hades and persephone vibes in here um he really reminds me of hades <laughs> and so the two of them have to go on this journey this adventure to go do something find something and along the way they end up falling in love but he is very broody very very gruff very alpha and the heroine in here kind of has to knock him down a few pegs to show him that he's not all that <laughs> he has a very hard time realizing that but this gave me a lot of Hades and Persephone vibes so if you're wanting a romance like that pick this one up next I have Your Dad Will Do by Katie Robert if you haven't heard about this book yet what are you doing with your life our heroine here figures out that her fiance has been cheating on her so to <laughs> seek retribution she goes to his dad's house and uh decides to like seduce him for payback but she's always been really attracted to him and he's kind of always been pining for her so they're thinking this is just gonna last a weekend to get all of this out of their system but then they realize they don't want to let go of each other so the alpha part in here definitely comes in the bedroom case for our hero and that's all i'm gonna say this one was really fun really hot and i really recommend it next i have misadventures of a college girl by lauren rowe this is a college romance our heroine in here zoe has never been with anybody if you know what i mean and so she definitely want to wants to experience that for the first time and she doesn't want a boyfriend she just wants one guy that will do this for her and then be done and so she ends up meeting tyler who's kind of like the ladies man on campus and she's like okay this guy's perfect he's he's he'll just do this for me and then i'll be good to go um but then something happens where she like really offends her and she's like uh no this is not happening after this whole situation tyler can't stop thinking about zoe and so then he goes to find her like tries to find her around school to try to convince her to let him teach her the ways of 
the bedroom. Tyler is definitely alpha in here. He did get on my nerves sometimes just because of that, but it was all good fun in the end and I really recommend this one. And lastly, I have a novella for you. I have Queen Size by Jessica Kane. This is a royalty romance. Our heroine in here, she just became the guardian to her two younger sisters and the farm that they live on hasn't really been working out all that well. And so she decides that she needs to have a husband to help care for her family and provide for them. Like she'll do anything for her sisters, even marry a man she's not in love with. And so in this land, there's something called like the bride games where brides kind of like do these tasks to show men um, how valuable they can be as a wife. And then like at the end, like someone will propose to them. So like some of the activities are, can you bake a really good pie? Another one is like, can you carry these two pails of water for a long distance? Um, it's like more stuff going on, but it's not just stereotypical woman things, by the way. Um, but anyway, our hero in here is the king and he's sworn to never get married. He doesn't want a wife, um, but he becomes a very interested in our heroine. And um, she's just like, hey, I'm attracted to you too, but I'm not gonna get with you unless you promise to marry me. And he's like, that's not gonna happen. And she's like, well then sex is suck because I'm, I, I need this to help provide for my family. And he's like totally upset that for the first time a woman has said no to him. He's trying to convince her to be his mistress when she's like, no, I am not mistress material. I am wife material and I know it. And so he slowly starts to realize that just because you're married to someone doesn't mean you're shackled ball and chain to them. I liked this one. Jessica Kane writes really good hot novellas. So yeah. Anyways, there you have it. Those are some romance recommendations for you that have alpha heroes in them. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to, or if you have any recommendations for me. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a, hmm, what emoji? Let's do a purple heart emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.